Nitrogen epoxy as a means of execution is no longer an untested method. It is a proven one. Officials in Alabama are defending their decision to introduce the first new method of execution in the U.S. in more than 40 years. 58-year-old Kenneth Eugene Smith was put to death using nitrogen gas on Thursday night. The convicted murderer breathed the nitrogen through a face mask, causing oxygen deprivation. The execution took 22 minutes. The state claimed he'd lose consciousness within seconds, but witnesses say he was shaking and convulsing in pain for several minutes before being pronounced dead. We didn't see somebody go unconscious in 30 seconds. What we saw was minutes of someone struggling for their life. It came after Smith's legal team was unable to convince judges that the use of gas constituted cruel and unusual punishment. But some human rights groups say they'll mount another legal challenge based on the results of last night's execution. State Attorney General Steve Marshall pushes back strongly on those critics, saying the execution went exactly according to plan. The movements by Smith were involuntary, and those claiming otherwise don't have all the facts. There's no specific time that we can identify for which the nitrogen uh, began to flow. But we believe that not only was this constitutionally carried out, but entirely consistent with how it was planned from the beginning. At least two other states, Mississippi and Oklahoma, have also approved nitrogen gas as a method of execution. In Miami, Eben Brown, Fox News.